Hey, we're the Paper Kites from Melbourne, Australia, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Leisha from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to an interview with the Paper Kites. How are you? Good, thanks. Good, good, thank you. I know that you guys just wrapped up an Australian tour earlier this month, and now you're touring North America here in Toronto tonight. How are you enjoying your time on the road? Yeah, it's been awesome. It was pretty... Um, it was, yeah, I guess busy sort of finishing the Australian tour and we literally played our last show and drove to the airport the next day to drive, to oh, wow. fly to LA. So it's been, um, yeah, it's been busy, but uh, yeah, we're loving it. We always love coming back to North America, so yeah. When you have some downtime from those really, really hectic days, <laughs> what do you guys like exploring in a city? It's funny you say downtime. Today was our first kind of day off in about a month. Mm. Um, yeah, there's been zero downtime so far, but <laughs> we got we drove into Toronto last night and have had the whole day off until just a couple of hours ago when we got here to the venue. So we all just went our separate ways and <laughs> walked, um, didn't yeah. even talk <laughs> to <laughs> each other. Didn't spend any been time doing together. A lot of the driving and, and yeah, um, where you're actually together a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was really refreshing just to have a wander around. Went to the Kensington markets and that kind of thing. It was really nice. Mm. I saw this photograph you posted a couple of weeks back, this massive record store. It looked like it was endless. And the tweet just said, this is what three hours in a record store looks like. I'm mm -hmm. guessing you're all vinyl lovers. Is that why you're spending so much time there? Yeah, I think so. I think Dave and Sam are probably the most uh, yeah. in, uh, vinyl enthusiasts in the band. Um, I, went, I went as well and spent three hours there, and I was nearly dead by the end of it. So <laughs> it was a good experience, but um, yeah, they, you can get lost in a store like did that. Did you buy definitely. anything, John? I did buy a few things. What, I bought, what did you um, end up getting? Uh, Jack White's album um, and a few other things. I actually bought a Christmas album for Bing Crosby. It's a family oh, okay. family favourite back home, so it's a present <laughs> for mum and dad. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where was that store? Um, LA. In LA, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just down. Not exactly. Hollywood Boulevard. Hollywood I Boulevard. Think, yeah. Near there, so it's, mm. yeah. Well, being that we're sitting down with you guys, we must discuss 12 4. <laughs> I thought it was such a neat concept the fact that all the songs were written between 12 and 4 a.m. What was that like? Was it like a, we were, it was a darker room where one member was writing? Were you all in like a rowdy area just at nighttime? What was the setting like? Um, so Sam Bentley, the lead singer, he was the only one who stayed up between 12 and 4 to Thankfully. write. Between <laughs> them, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know whether we all would have survived that. So um, he likes to say that he invited us to join him, but uh, I don't think he really did. So I <laughs> think he enjoyed the, um, the, yeah, I guess the alone time and the privacy of, yeah, writing between those hours. And he sort of says that... Um, he sort of came to us with the concept and told us that um, a friend of his had spoken to him about some screenwriters who had tried a similar thing where they were only writing between the hours of 12 and 4 um, with the thought in mind that they were your most creative hours um, when you're sort of tired and, um, yeah, I guess uh, you're not sort of overthinking things. You're just sort of letting your writing happen and waking up in the morning and, yeah, re-listening to it and discovering what you'd done so yeah we were all sort of yeah very happy to encourage him to <laughs> do it um and then at the end of that process he brought the demos to us and we kind of all listened to them and um yeah I guess started workshopping them and working our way into turning it into an album so did any of you try the 12 to 4 thing or was it just like no <laughs> nah we were no, all we working control. at the time so <laughs> we yeah we're kind of happy for him to, <laughs> to <laughs> <Yeah>. do that. <laughs> do you find there's a time in the day where you're personally the most creative or it just kind of comes and goes whenever? Um, I reckon it comes and goes whenever. It depends on, I reckon for me, it depends on where I am, not so much the time of the day. Like, mm. depends on what I'm doing and, yeah, I think it's different for everyone. If there's no distractions. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. That, that certainly helps. I suppose 12 to 4 is a nice time because there's yeah. literally yeah. no distractions. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, the record does explore a lot of different genres, but the thing that I picked up the most on, which is just very near and dear to my heart, are the 80s vibes throughout it. <laughs> yeah. You guys big New Wave fans? There are fans from that era? Yeah, we, we certainly yeah. like that kind of music. I think, um, especially this album, there's been influences from... Well, I mean, there's influences, modern influences, like Ryan Adams... Um, and then going back in time, um, you know, Crowded House, then back to The Cure, uh, Roxy Music and that kind of thing. They were big influences for Sam writing this album and, and we kind of referred to those as well just for sounds and textures and, and that kind of thing. And we were hoping that that influence would kind of shine through in the album. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Do any of you have favourite bands from the 80s? No. 
I know it's a hard one. There's so <laughs> many the amazing up there. groups. Yeah. Yeah, as far as um, 80s kind of emo goes, they're uh, <laughs> <laughs> dream, dream pop emo, whatever you call mm-hmm. them, they're, yeah. uh, they're up there. Yeah. And same for both of you, I guess. As a yeah, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say I have sort of one specific um, band. Yeah, I don't know. I think an 80s mix comes on and I love it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't sort of call myself a huge <laughs> 80s fan. <laughs> yeah, enthusiast. Yeah. I am a fan, yeah. just not, I'm not crazy about it. It's not my go-to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> not my go-to. Well, <laughs> as of right now, who would you say your favourite band is? Is there someone that you've been playing in the van a lot on those long drives or some band that's your go-to mm. to listen to? Um, I think, well, for me personally, oh, what would I listen to? Oh, Warren Drugs. Dave's oh, cool. really oh, into yeah. Warren Drugs and he's got me on board as well, which has <laughs> been good. Yeah. And we are playing it actually the other day when we were driving yeah. just two days ago, I think. We are kind of just chilling out. It's quite a nice driving album, I think. Just yeah. kind of it was dark and in. rainy and yeah. we were driving all day and it was... It was perfect. It, it, it was a good... Really uh, well. yeah. It was fitted. Yeah. We, um, we made a... The last few weeks in the van, we've <laughs> gone through a lot of CDs that our, our label palmed off to us <laughs> and we've picked out all our favourite songs. We've made a playlist... Um, I don't really know the names of any of the acts, <laughs> but it's a really but good But they're playlist. good. Yeah, yeah. the playlist yeah. is Enjoying awesome. <laughs> yeah, we've been lis- I've been listening to, um, which is probably what a lot of people are listening to, but I've been listening to a lot of um, the new Tame Impala album. Yes, so that's a very yeah. popular one. Everyone yeah. loves that record. Yeah, it's very easy to listen to. And yeah, when we're driving, I don't know, it's a nice kind of chilled out driving kind of vibe. So. Mm. I was reading this one article about the album and the band was just saying how there was a lot of weirder stuff that you were experimenting with that didn't actually make it <laughs> on the album. Can you just tell <laughs> yeah. us a little bit about that? Because it sounded really interesting. <laughs> yeah, Sam, well, I mean, Sam, like we said, he was in the middle of the night and he did that for about two months and wrote about delirious. 30 songs or something. <laughs> <laughs> so he got a little bit delirious sometimes. <laughs> Part of the idea of writing in the middle of the night was he wanted to let down his guard and mm. let down his mm. filters and just kind of let whatever comes out to come out. Um, and it came out like there was. Um, <laughs> it well and truly came out. <laughs> all the, from the spectrum, like from hard rock through to rap and all sorts of. St- it all came out. Yeah. Um, spoken word. Most yeah. of the spoken word. Most of the songs that we ended up uh, playing with and rehearsing, they were mm. kind of in the realm of what we were going for. But yeah. there were some songs, and he even admittedly said, like, it's not going to be on the album, yeah. but. I had to get it out and um, <laughs> he kind of explained how I had to get this song out so I could make way in my mind for the next song that I'm going to write. Mm. There's some kind of methodical process that he talked about that I didn't really understand but we let him do these things. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he's happy. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. As long and as he's you happy. Know, at the end of the process we ended up with an album we all really love. Yeah, so very, very good <laughs> songs. Exactly. So, you know, if that's the process we have to go through, that's fine. <laughs> do you think those songs might see the light of day one day or maybe nah. like on TV? Nah, no, so they were just seriously. that out there. Yeah. yeah. There was a couple that yeah like listening through it was i feel like he eased us in with like you know gave us some demos i'm like oh yeah this is cool and a lot of those first ones probably are in the album and then mm. it just started getting like a bit weird and then get really <laughs> weird <laughs> and, like, it got, kind of got like halfway through him thinking there's no way that this is going to be on the album <laughs> but mm. i don't know it's interesting to hear kind of what he came up with and yeah as Raz said it I don't know. He needed to get it out, I guess. So. They were good yeah. songs. So yeah. It's for us. Yeah. 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 That's it. Well, just outside of music for the band, what do you guys like doing together? Anything <laughs> that you bond over? Uh, food. Um, food. That's yeah. everyone's food. Yeah. When yeah. we're on tour, we definitely... We definitely... I'd say food and coffee. Um, not all of us drink coffee, but those of us that do love the challenge of finding a good coffee hmm. in a new city that we're in. Um, yeah, or just, I don't know, finding somewhere awesome to eat mm. and asking the locals, like, where's a re- like, if we're going to have dinner here tonight, where should we go? Like, what's awesome? So, yeah. yeah. Josh and I always get on board sport. the local sport. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The hockey and the, yeah. the basketball and the football yeah. and that kind of thing, yeah. which is good fun. It's great fun for us because we don't have anything like that over in back Not that kind of thing. Yeah. It's just bigger and better over here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's um, pretty cool. So, yeah. what's Toronto's, like, cool factor, the thing that you've picked up on? Oh, the Leafs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least the Raptors. Yeah, yeah the Raptors. Toronto Raptors. <laughs> say it? Yeah. I don't know. But but like the ho- in Canada, the hockey is just awesome. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. We really enjoy watching yeah. it. Yeah. We've been lucky enough to be get, got to go a few times. So looking yeah, forward yeah. to hopefully getting back again soon. Nice. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Time permits. Well, then just to wrap everything up today, for all your fans who are going to be viewing our interview, anything you want to shout out to them all? 
thank you for watching the interview. Yeah. Um, and thank you for listening. If you've listened, if you haven't listened, that's cool. <laughs> um, I'd suggest listening. Um, <laughs> probably I won't advertise tonight's show because this probably won't air. You know, in the next <laughs> two hours. <laughs> come, to our, come to our next show. <laughs> yeah, next time show. we come by, we're looking forward to it. If you want to take us to a hockey game, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Or show us some sweet coffee places or Acceptable. take us yeah, out for definitely. dinner. Yeah. Yeah, we'd be into that. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So, everyone, buy the record, catch them on tour. <laughs> and just a big thank you to you guys for your time today. We really do appreciate yeah. it. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks yeah, it's our pleasure. And Cheers. remember, everyone viewing, you can visit us at amusicblog.com for all of interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. See you next time. <laughs>